Welcome, everybody. Welcome to uh, Homeschool Mom. That's right, folks. It's me today, Brian Acker, a homeschool mom's husband. She gave me the reins to her channel today, and I'm about to live stream you. Hope you enjoy. So us homeschoolers, we hear a lot of myths out there about what people think we're like, about what they think our kids learn, when in fact these people, they don't do a lick of research. They just assume and they speculate and they listen to popular opinion. Well guess what folks, popular opinion is always going to be against what us people who scratch the chalkboard believe in, if you know what I'm saying. So I hope you enjoy this show that I put together for you today. It's covering famous people who have homeschooled and other myths about homeschooling. In it you will see people like Einstein, Mozart, Mark Twain, C.S. Lewis, Booker T. Washington, and many more. People who have grown up to be great men and women presidents, great actors, sports stars, you name it. Matter of fact, one person I didn't cover in this was Miriam Bedeck from The Big Bang Theory. That's right, folks. Did you know that she is a qualified neurosurgeon? Did you know that? And she also homeschools her children. So what do you think about that? Please, if you liked this video, click like and subscribe to our channel. For now, we'll just get on with the show. So I'm making a video about homeschooling today and the myths of homeschools. You know, a lot of people have misconceptions. But the fact of the matter is, is that my, my children are actually more privileged than people that are in public school because we, we grab the material that they need, like the paper, you know, um, the different books. I mean, we're prepared from grade primary, you know, to university level books, you know, and, and that's the thing. Do your children in the public education system have access to this stuff, to this material? You know, and we got many different things. We got my books up here, of course, for, for if they want to read them later in life. There's a few there they can look into. A couple good books, you know, like Voltaire's Bastards and, you know, lots of good books. Uh, major American Poets, uh, Dirty Wars, uh, Nonsense is a good one. Um, we got Das Kapital by Karl Marx. We got 1984. We got Homer the Odyssey. I mean, we got Exploring Creation with Chemistry. We got Chemistry Grade 12, Chemistry Grade 11, right? Introductory Chemistry. You know, we got Physics. We got Science Physics. We got the Ideas of Physics. We got Exploring Creation with Physics. Advanced Physics in Creation. You know, and we got some kits like Discover the Human Body, Discovering Earthquakes and Volcanoes. And we also have, you know, regular curriculum we call Life Packs. Well, this one's Language Arts. 
and uh, it covers the whole language arts for grade three, right? Grade three, grade two. We have a grade two over here. And here's the Bible homeschool curriculum kit, right? This is for all ages, you know, depends on where your child's at. Got lots of different stuff. So this myth that homeschoolers are stupid and that they don't learn as much as publicly educated children, well, I beg to differ. Did you know that across Canada, there are approximately 60,000 to 80,000 children who are homeschooled? That number is on the rise. Despite the fact that homeschooling has become much more mainstream in our society, there still seems to be an underlying misunderstanding and prejudice surrounding this method of schooling in the general population. Homeschool students aren't socialized properly. This is one of the most common misconceptions of homeschoolers. The reality is that instead of being separated into groups according to age, these kids can interact with many different people in many different settings on a regular basis. Homeschool groups and activities typically are filled with a wide range of children involved. Extracurricular clubs and sports or other similar activities offer the opportunities to learn how to work under a leader in a group setting. Volunteering kids puts kids into a new setting with people they might not have encountered before. Socialization is much more than just spending time in a classroom with other kids. It's a skill learned and taught when allowed the opportunity to interact with other people. Myth number two is that parents aren't qualified enough to teach their children. It is easy to understand this concern, but it's actually rather insulting to most of us. We might not all have teaching degrees, this is true, but we typically are skilled enough to be resourceful in our education plans. Even teachers don't know everything about the subject, but they can find tools, lessons plans, and resources to help teach their classes, and so can we. One of the best things about homeschooling is the network that you can tap into. Yes, there are times and subjects that we can't teach to the amount needed, but using the community and the network available allows us to find experts and better equipped teachers than ourselves. Workshops, co-ops, classes, online courses and programs, distance studies. There are lots of ways that homeschoolers can learn about something their parents can't teach. Education is not limited by what a parent knows. We also get the opportunity to learn along with our children it's a great way to keep the brain active, pull up the lessons we ourselves learned while schooling, and show our kids that learning is fun. It's our goal as homeschoolers to create a passion for learning and to equip our children with the tools to research, discover, and absorb information for themselves. Homeschoolers are weird and different. This is the third myth that I'm going to cover. Homeschoolers are no different than anyone else. Some are shy, while others outgoing. There are homeschoolers who like to be on their own and the ones that love large groups. Just because the education we teach and receive is outside the conventional box doesn't mean there's anything wrong or weird about us. Myth number four. Homeschoolers are lazy and don't leave their house. There's a joke in the homeschool world that homeschoolers are rarely home. There are classes and programs, volunteering and sports, field trips and so much more. Homeschoolers are usually busy and active in so many interests that there is no chance to be lazy. There are lessons to plan, prep, and finish, just like our school counterparts. Typically, though, we are finished a lot sooner, allowing us the opportunity to get out and do something else, or just relax at home. We don't have to leave our house, and can spend the day in our pajamas if we want. But it's not the everyday norm. That's just a bonus. Myth number five is that homeschoolers are extreme in their religion and want to control their children in every aspect of their life. The school system is a secular institution and teaches what they believe is right. This doesn't always line up with religious beliefs. Because of this, there is a large community of faith-based home educators, but that doesn't make every person who homeschools a fundamental, isolating Christian. Yes, some are, but not all of us. In fact, secular homeschooling has been emerging rapidly in the last few years. Most homeschoolers choose to teach at home in order to focus on their child's needs and learning styles rather than religion. We save the religion for after school. We save, you know, the gospel for after school. There is a little bit of 
religious study in their homeschooling classes, but for the most part, we allow our kids to believe what they want to believe. We teach both sides of the coin. We pe preach that there's a devil and there's a god. We preach that there's good and there's bad, right? We show our children the science books. We teach them what's in the mainstream science books, and we also allow them to explore outside of that. So this whole myth about us wanting to control our children in every aspect of their life, well, excuse me, does the Bible not say that um, God gave us these children as gifts so that we raise them in the ways that they should go? Really, that's what this boils down to. So yes, there is some sort of control over our children's lives because we are parents, right? And without that, our children would be crazy and out of control. So myth number six is that homeschoolers can't go to college or university. With the recent increase of students taught at home, post-secondary schools have begun to amend and open their admissions policies to homeschoolers. If university or college is the path a homeschooled child wants to take, there are options available. From taking time off from school and applying as a mature student to registering with an open university first before transferring to a different program even just doing online classes. Yes, here in Canada, we have a long distance education course that you can do by mail. It's uh, university level, college level, there's grade 12, 11, 10 level. Um, and, and that's just it, see. If we wanted our children to go to university, which we are going to prepare for, that's what we are preparing our children for, is to get to university eventually, right? Don't know how they're gonna pay for it, but we'll figure that road out when we get there. So if our children, let's say, are in grade 11 or 12, I am pretty sure, from what I'm told and what I've researched, that our children are allowed to go and take university courses in our neighborhood. You know, just like publicly educated grade 12 students are allowed to go to their university in the neighborhood and take classes. Like I said, there's online courses. There is mail correspondence courses. So there's so many ways, right? And, and homeschoolers not being able to go to college or university, it's actually a fact that universities, you know, admire homeschooled children over the publicly educated children because the homeschooled children's minds are free, right? Myth number seven is that homeschoolers won't ever be ready for real life, right? What's real life? Because real life looks different for everybody. It's important for us as homeschoolers to provide our children with life skills, finances, household maintenance, cooking, self-sufficiency. Yes, we cover many different areas in our homeschooling classes and home economics is one of them. That is one of the major things so that when our children grow up they know how to clean a house. They know how to do a lot of things. Right? So what, what's real life? We, we teach our kids coping skills. We teach our kids that stuff. So areas that have been cut out of most public school settings due to lack of funding. Adults everywhere are able to find and hold jobs, have families, and follow their dreams. There's no reason to believe that our children are unable to do the same. Some studies point to the fact that all adults who were homeschooled are typically more content with their lives than their peers. Homeschooling is outside the typical no social norm of education. And it is easy to understand that there will be misconceptions around how it works and how it is affecting our children. Remember, though, that different isn't always the same thing as bad. Take the time to get to know some homeschoolers. Ask questions. Become educated in what we're doing and why. Don't just sit there and make assumptions. We want the same thing as you, to see our kids be the best that they can be. Right? Now, on top of all of that, you think about how overcrowded the public education system is right and you think about that they got classrooms jam-packed with you know sometimes 25 to 30 children on one teacher right we can obviously see that our public education system is packed it is overbared or it's 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 overburdened and that, and that's just a result of of a growing society it's nobody's fault it's just the way it is it's that our governments are having a hard time keeping up with paying the teachers and funding the schools with the supplies they need you know and don't forget to mention 
you know the fact that most you know junior highs and high schools have cut a lot of extracurricular programs out like home ec woodworking shop class right so i hope you all enjoyed this little rant i hope it cleared up a few misconceptions you might have about homeschooling good morning everybody my name is brian acker and i am with the homeschool channel Today we are going to be covering famous homeschoolers, that's right, there is a lot of myths out there concerning the homeschooling thing, that you're going to grow up to be a nobody, that homeschoolers just can't make it, homeschoolers aren't as smart as publicly educated children, and, and this is all a lie. And I can prove this by going back into history and showing you all, you know, people who are famous who have been homeschooled that concerns presidents actors actresses and uh, just some other big names out there so I hope you enjoy this I hope it opens your eyes you know homeschoolers can accomplish amazing things right and there are many famous homeschoolers out there some of the most famous homeschoolers in our history have been presidents that's right U.S. presidents who were homeschooled include John Adams, John Quincy Adams, James Garfield, William Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, James Polk, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, and George Washington. Right? So think about that. Uh, current famous homeschoolers. People like Tim Tebow, the NFL quarterback, a motivational speaker. Um, another one is Justin Bieber, uh, Beth Bethany Hamilton, professional surfer, Aaron Fernandez, Emma Watson, Julian Trevelyan, Esperanza Spaulding, who's the Grammy-winning musician and child prodigy, Venus and Serena Williams, Condoleezza Rice, Sage Kattensburg, right? Constitutional Convention delegates. Richard Bassetti, William Blount, George Clymer, William Few, Benjamin Franklin, William Houston, William S. Johnson, William Livingstone, James Madison, George Mason, John Francis Mercer, Charles Pickney, John Rutledge, R Richard Spate, George Washington, John Witherspoon, George Wythe. Okay, some of the former presidents that I've already mentioned. John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Grover Cleveland, James Garfield, William Henry Harrison, Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, James Madison, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, John Tyler, George Washington, Woodrow Wilson. All right, some of our military leaders, all right? Alexander the Great, the Greek ruler, was homeschooled. John Barry, Stonewall Jackson, John Paul Jones, Robert E. Lee, Douglas MacArthur, George Patton, Matthew Perry, John Pershing, David Dixon Porter. Some of our U.S. Supreme Court judges have also been homeschooled. Some of our scientists have been homeschooled. People like George Washington Carver, Pierre Curie, Albert Einstein, Michael Faraday, right? T.H. Huxley. Booker T. Washington. Should I list some artists who have been homeschooled? William Blake, John Singleton Copley, Claudette Monet, Grandma Moses, Charles Peel, Leonardo da Vinci. Religious leaders who have been homeschooled include Joan of Arc, William Carey, Jonathan Edwards, William Philip Melanchthon, Dwight Moody, John Newton, John Owen, Hudson Taylor, John and Charles Wesley and Brigham Young okay so back in the day some of our inventors were also homeschooled Alexander Graham Bell who invented the telephone right John Moses Browning the firearms inventor and designer Peter Cooper who invented the first skyscraper who built the first US commercial locomotive Thomas Edison was also homeschooled invented the stock ticker the mimograph, the phonograph, and perfected the electric light bulb. Benjamin Franklin was also homeschooled. He invented the lightning rod. Elias Howe, who invented the sewing machine, was homeschooled. Right? So the list goes on and on and on and on. On and on. Composers. Irving Berlin, Anton Bruckner, Noel Coward, Felix Mendelssohn, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was homeschooled, my friends. So if homeschoolers 
grow up to be nothing. It seems an awful lot of our, our elites and an awful lot of the people that uh, our society looks up to have been homeschooled. So this myth that homeschoolers don't become anything is absolutely rubbish. Some of our performing artists like Louis Armstrong, Charlie Chaplin, Whoopi Goldberg, Hanson, Jennifer Love Hewitt, The Moffats, Frankie Muniz, Leanne Rimes, Barlow Girl, Jonas Brothers, Jacob Clemente, some of our most famous business entrepreneurs like Andrew Carnegie, the wealthy steel industriast, was homeschooled, right? Horace Greeley, Jimmy Lai, Dr. Orson, right? Dave Thomas, founder of the Wendy's restaurant chain, homeschooled, and some other honorable mentions who have been homeschooled in history, Abigail Adams, right? John Burroughs, Davy Crockett, Sam Houston, Mary Leakey, yeah, John Stuart Mill, John Muir, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Paine. So many people have been homeschooled that for people to sit there and say that homeschoolers, you know, don't make it to be anything, that's absolute rubbish. Famous homeschool parents include Will Smith, he homeschools his kids, Robert Frost, Mike Ferris, right? Kelly Preston, Mike Smith, John Travolta, Daryl Waltrip, they all homeschool their kids. So that's just a short list of some of the people out there that homeschool. Alright, so here I go over famous people who did amazing things after being homeschooled. The Wright brothers were homeschooled and invented the airplane. Homeschooling has become an increasingly popular alternative to a traditional education. Children who have homeschooling often flourish academically and go on to achieve success later in life. Here are some examples of highly successful people who were homeschooled. Did they go on to do bigger and better things? I will let you be the judge. Thomas Edison, who invented the phonograph and light bulb after being homeschooled by his mom. God bless you, Edison's mom. This well-known inventor of the phonograph and light bulb is an example of the power of homeschooling. Edison initially attended a traditional school, but couldn't tolerate the rather stern teaching methods of the schoolmaster. His mother subsequently took over his education, discovering a quick mind in the form of a willing and able student. See, some children need to be taken out of the school system to flourish educational-wise, right? Academically, it helps them. Thomas Edison's facile mind readily absorbed literature and science books his mothers gave to him. It's reported that he completed every experiment he found in his science books. And again, we have Woodrow Wilson, who's one of several presidents who were homeschooled. Others included Franklin D. Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln, John Quincy Adams, and George Washington. Wilson was primarily taught by his father, who gave him a practical education, taking him into the marketplace to learn firsthand the mechanics of the economy and how it functioned. He also instructed him in science literature in a homeschool environment. Surprisingly, though, Woodrow Wilson didn't learn to read until the age of 12. Some surmise this may have been related to a problem with attention deficit disorder. George Bernard Shaw was taught by his uncle and hated real school. This Nobel Prize winning playwright didn't enter formal schooling until the age of 10. Until that time, he was tutored by his uncle. Having such educational freedom, when Shaw entered a formal classroom at age 11, he despised it. Shaw went on to be an outspoken critical of formal education as manifest by his famous quote, What we want to see is the child in pursuit of knowledge, not knowledge in pursuit of the child. And again, we have C.S. Lewis, right, who was homeschooled until the age of 10. This well-known author grew up in a home rich with music and books and a strong belief in the power of education. Educated at home by his mother until age 10, Lewis developed a fondness for literary works of all types. And upon Lewis's mother's death, Lewis was sent to a boarding school where he experienced abuse at the hands of a stern headmaster. 
This forever changed his perception of a formal education for the worse. So one of my favorites is Mozart. He was homeschooled by his father, and it didn't hold him back. Mozart was another famous face to have been homeschooled, and as is evident by his music and standing as a composer, it did him no harm. There are also plenty of other well-known people who were taught, at least for part of their childhood, out of school. Others include names like Leonardo da Vinci, Irving Boleyn, the Wright brothers, Albert Einstein, Booker T. Washington, Patrick Henry, John Marshall, did you know Mark Twain was homeschooled, Daniel Webster, Will Rogers, Ansel Adams, and Clara Barton, among many others. Who can deny the incredible potential of homeschooling with these successful graduates? Three. So what is it about homeschooling that I like? Well, there's a few things. And one of the reasons is, yes, it does give us full control over our child's education. That is one major benefit. Something else I like is that we have the freedom to teach both sides of the story. It isn't to, you know, keep our children to one belief. We're such religious extremists that we have to keep our you know, religious teachings pounded into our kids' heads. No, that's, it's the opposite of that. It is so we can teach both sides, see? You know, we can teach the theory of evolution, and we can teach the biblical story of creation. See what I'm saying? There's a few other things about homeschooling that, that is, you know, not true. And that is, there is support out there. There's lots of support out there. You just ask my wife. She has found groups that have led her down roads where, yes, she received a little bit of financial support from the school and the government, which is beneficial. It helps us buy things like books, paper, any supplies, right? So there, there is a lot of benefits to homeschooling. And the number one myth that I wanted to cover in the video that you just seen, which I hope you enjoy, by the way, is that, you know, universities... They are very excited to have homeschooled kids because homeschooled kids, not insulting the public system at all, that's not what this video is about, but homeschooled kids seem to have a uh, attitude of thinking outside the box, shall we say. <coughs> so yes, there is lots of benefits to homeschooling. Um, you just need to take the first step is what you need to do. It isn't easy, nobody said it was, but there is plenty of resources out there to get help homeschooling. 
lots of places on YouTube, lots of homeschooling moms, lots of homeschooling groups on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all them places. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you have a good day, and I hope you learned something. God bless.